And so, you know, when you have a proportional relationship, you're going to have y equals something times x. Well, that something is going to be your k, right? So this is the constant right, of proportionality. We are going to come up and uh, realize that this constant of proportionality, right, is also something that we can refer to as a rate of change. Um, it is the slope of the line. We're going to interchange some of these words, but rate of change and slope are words that are used for both proportional and non-proportional relationships. So in only proportional relationships, we have this thing called the constant of proportionality. And so, right, we can see that this constant of proportionality for this example that we're using is three. So our equation for this one would be y equals three times x. Okay, so whatever this ratio is, we can put it into an equation that looks like this, right? But we also might be able to show it in words, right? So, right, we could say something like there are three feet in every yard, right? So measurement, three feet in every yard. Um, we could also say something like um, uh, snack bags cost $3.00 each. Okay, so these are two different examples that we could use that, that could be represented with these proportional relationships. Okay, so some kind of just to kind of wrap it all up, right? The things that we need to make sure we are clear about when we talk about proportional relationships is that there will be a constant of proportionality. And as we get a little bit further into this chapter, right, that this is what we also call the rate of change is constant, right? And you're also going to see this, right? So you're gonna see rate of change and we're also gonna see this idea of slope. So if you don't know what those are right now, that's okay. They're eighth grade um, ideas, but, right, I'm just, getting you started right now, that these are some things we want to think about. And the other thing that um, we want to, uh, other two concepts of proportional relationships is on a graph. It is the graph is a straight line. It can be diagonal, but it is a straight line and it passes through the origin, which is zero, zero on a graph. Okay, so these are some of those kind of basic concepts and we're